Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. Going to shoot a short video. Uh, promised you something on uh, anti foam agents and uh, we found out some really interesting stuff. So, first of all, big shout out to uh, Atomic Customs. Uh, guys are starting to send in their shirts, so we're doing some videos like we promised. Um, uh, Jared? Jared Luttrell over there at Atomic Customs was kind enough to send me two. Uh, these things are cool. Atomic Customs. Basic element of writing. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I knew my favorite colors were orange. Orange and black. This is in North Augusta, South Carolina. So if you guys have uh, some biking needs, uh, go to Atomic Customs. They have hydrographics, LED light kits, apparel, accessories, and service. So big shout out to Atomic Customs. Um, Really cool of them to send me a couple of shirts. Um, first two, I'm gonna start a little space in my closet, and we may wear these uh, two or three times. But uh, but anyhow, nice shirts. So um, really cool at the custom work. Um, also, uh, a little shout out. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, my wife decorates the the office here, the man cave, and uh, today she comes home with a little rubber duck with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's my new favorite. All right, enough of that. Um, <laughs> and also, uh, one last shout out, real quick. Uh, occasionally, we we get uh, uh, you know supplies from outside vendors, people we've never dealt with before. If you've got a paint booth and uh, you need to change out your filters, uh, usually we've got two sets: uh, your your incoming air, and then uh, you'll pull it through another set of filter banks and then discharge to the outside. So uh, uh, about once a year, um, not too more than that, we have to, ch to buy the new filters for the intakes. They're uh, sticky filters. They go in the door 20 by 20s. Anyhow, we hit up a, a, a late, uh, supplier, the filter lady at AOL.com, Melissa Moore. Uh, we bought a couple of boxes um, from her uh, to replace the filters. and. Um, uh, let me just show you the the eBay ad or eBay uh, uh, 20 by 20 Dura Tough 55 tacky intake filters. Okay, case of 20. Uh, we bought a couple cases because we've got two booths. Might buy a couple more pretty soon. And it was nice. Got an email from her telling us how to install them. Um, I think that was kind of above and beyond. Uh, she took the time. You know, told me when they're going to shoot out. Uh, to us, um, be sure you load these filters white air entering. I've been buying these filters for years and nobody's ever told me that. Green tacky side will be visible from inside the booth. If you load them the opposite way, the filters will quickly face load with dust, dirt, and lose lifespan. Any questions or issues, please don't hesitate to contact me. To contact me, Melissa Moore. Uh, I thought that was really nice. So if you guys uh, need filters, uh, please give her a shot. Um, she has an eBay uh, store or, or uh, she sells on eBay, the filter lady at AOL.com. So that's a big shout out to Melissa. Went above and beyond uh, um, to uh, make sure that we were taken care of. And I thought that was really nice. It's, it's nice to find good vendors. Um, it's tough enough to get people to talk to you anymore. It's, uh, it's really nice to get somebody who who's, uh, goes outside and uh, the box and, and wants you know to really take care. And that's what we're looking for with the form, is um, you know good vendors. So I definitely recommend her. Uh, she's not a sponsor, but um, real nice, real nice person. So uh, if you guys need the filters for your booths, definitely give her a shot. The filter lady at AOL.com. All right, uh, anti foam. You know we've been recommending for years, um, especially in your rinse booths, if you have problems to um, use a, a spa anti foam agent. Um, uh, you know, we, as a matter of fact, uh, we're talking to one of the suppliers and uh, we were going to actually have um, an anti-foam agent on the K2ShopOnline.com. We had some, some artwork printed up. We were looking for uh, some kind of uh, name, like, you know, like K2 Brew, uh, K2 Anti-Foam, Anti-Goo. Uh, you know, we were just goofing around looking for different names and be honest with you that was the only thing that was holding us back um, in the meantime uh, 
you know, we were we were having our fair share of little pain issues here and there. Nothing real drastic, but it's just weird stuff coming up. Um, and uh, the anti foam agent that we were using, I, this stuff's incredible. That's why we were going to go to market with it. We talked to the supplier, the manufacturer that makes it, and this stuff. I'm not kidding you. You, a quarter of a cup. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, capful, just a little quarter of a capful. Um, in your in your rinse tanks or even in your tank if you're getting foaming in your tank throw it in there man it just within 10 seconds eliminated every speck of foam it was amazing uh, a gallon would last you guys probably two or three years uh, some of you guys maybe even longer than that I mean it it was just incredible stuff and uh, we were really impressed uh, had real good conversations got pricing we're working on artwork. In the meantime, we're coming up with a name, and uh, we decide to look up, uh, you know, let's come up with some kind of name. Well, what is anti foam? Well, you go to Wikipedia and look up anti foam. Uh, chemical additive reduces blah blah blah. Uh, commonly used agents are insoluble oils, polydimethyl siloxanes, and other silicones. Holy! Crap. <laughs> so we uh, contact the manufacturer. He sends us over the MSDS sheet. And right in the beginning, uh, I don't want to give these guys a bad name, but uh, generic description silicone emulsion. Well, I think we, <laughs> I think we solved our, uh, our fisheye problem and uh, some of the other weird stuff that was going on in our clear booth. Uh, <laughs> quit using it. Uh, it's taken us a couple days to get rid of it all, rinse out the tanks and everything. And uh, today was the first day full back online in production. And, and uh, as far as I can tell, we don't have any problems. Now, we've been recommending this stuff for years. Everybody in the forum has been re recommending some kind of anti foam agent. Um, you know, we went back to, amazingly enough, we went back to uh, the fabric softener and uh, really cheap fabric softener and haven't had the problems but uh, man you know uh, these are the uh, the things that try you as a business owner really uh, make you question your sanity sometimes um, um, it's our own fault for not becoming educated but we've been recommending it for years we've been using it for years uh, I don't even know how many problems that uh, that have come up we've worked around or overcome sometimes when you don't even know uh, you figure a way out it's just really weird but uh, so <laughs> don't use any anti-foam in your rinse tanks it's gonna mess you up in your clear boot uh, the best bet I, I mean I hate to say it and I'm only saying it now because we're bringing one in is maybe a purpose-built rinse station I, I don't know um, each person is gonna have to take a look at what they got going what they can afford but uh, foaming of uh, your rinse tanks is just something that we've accepted and uh, dealt with um, you know uh, without a purpose-built station there's really almost no way around it I don't know of anybody that uh, gets by without some kind of foam action especially when you get the uh, um, the activator going in there or do a fair amount you know you're gonna get foaming so anti-foam it's a no-no <laughs> so anyhow it's amazing uh, that's it for this one. Again, a big shout out to Atomic Customs for sending me a couple shirts. Uh, they were the first. Uh, we actually got two packages. I'm going to shoot another one. Uh, um, I'm going to do a video on uh, setting up uh, our uh, spray guns. Uh, we're going to bring that online here pretty soon uh, on the K2 shopping cart. But I'm going to save that one for uh, for the next video. I'll be wearing another another shirt. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for this piece of advice. I'm going to try to keep the, uh, um, the uh, technical uh, videos um, on their own rather than have them mixed up with the contest videos because um, you really don't want to hear me talk about a contest when you're looking up information or you're trying to figure out uh, uh, the better way or solve a problem or whatever. You don't have to listen to me battle on about, uh, about some contest. So I'm going to separate the two. Uh, just some of those growing pains. Anyhow, uh, that's it for this one. Please join us on the forum at k2forms or k2forms at or k2forms.com. Wow, email and everything. 
K2Forums.com is a forum, real informative. Uh, it is for the hydrographic industry. If you're not on it, please join. We have a lot of giveaways. We got two contests going right now. We got a million views on YouTube, half a million views on the forum, and we got more coming. Uh, second of all, if you have any questions, comments, please uh, drop me an email at uh, k2forums at gmail.com. And lastly, if uh, you need uh, activators, uh, paints, or activator paint guns, and uh, we're going to have a variety of other things, but uh, right now those two things are on the shopping cart, uh, k2shoponline.com. That's k2shoponline.com. Everything that uh, you buy from the shopping cart uh, goes right back into the... Uh, into the forum so uh, it's a good way to support the forum and uh, give back so we appreciate uh, your support and uh, that's it for this one uh, hope you're having a good day dipping oh yeah a little uh, a little hydro for the haters my last video I forgot to uh, to shoot one uh, little uh, hater aid <laughs> forgot to say uh, hydro for the haters anyhow that's it for this one um, Hope you're having a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later. Bye.